Hello, welcome to this tutorial. I am Eze Samuel Chino, so the founder of Smart School Management System. Welcome to the January edition of Smart School Growth Academy, a presentation by Eze Samuel Chino, so the founder of Smart School. In this edition, we'll be learning about artificial intelligence in classroom, in short form, AI in classroom. I know in recent days we have been hearing about AI, AI, artificial intelligence, and I know that all of you have um, done some research about AI. But for those that have not done research on AI, this class is for you. In this class, we'll be learning a whole lot of things about artificial intelligence, how you can implement artificial intelligence in classroom. By the way, before I proceed, I would like to inform you that Smart School Goats Academy is a monthly school owners training that runs from every month third friday of every month or if the class will be shifted it will also be communicated to those in our social media platform and in our email so if you have not yet subscribed to our email address to receive updates do so at the end of this tutorial in today we are going to be discussing about understanding the general concept of ai understanding the concept of ai in education system tax ai can handle in schools and some case study all right as you can see on the image at this side you can see a human being and a robot communicating so ai is serving as a security man or a robot a robot is also an ai it has some features of ai so as you can see there is an example of ai too all right so before we proceed one of the popular present in, in the world putin star president of north korea say that ai is the next big thing and whoever that masters it will rule the world which means ai is not something that just came out of recent if you type about the history of ai you know that it came it was in existence in the period of 1956 it was in existence in 1956 so all that is being done now is just modernizing and improving the AI system. So if you master the tool AI in your day-to-day -day activity, in, the, in your school business, in any other thing you are doing, it's going to be beneficial to you. Then who are we? Who is smart school? Who is smart creativity? Who is speaking to you? Hello, I am Mr. Samuel Chan, so founder of smart school founder and CEO of Smart Creativity. We are a company passionately into the development of technological tools that will aid businesses to facilitate better administrative and management processes. Over the years, we have helped countless schools automate their processes, increase productivity and revenue, and become more effective using all-in-one smart school management software. Schools all around the country have benefited massively from our software and as such we keep upgrading and making more record-breaking innovations to better the educational system and benefit schools all right smart creativity is an ict com ict development company that develop technological tools that help businesses when I mean business those in the educational sector in the business sector and any other sector in the agricultural sector so we develop technological tools that will aid businesses to facilitate better administrative and management processes and also to increase their and also to increase their profitability so in recent time we developed smart school management system that helps schools to automate their processes and countless schools have benefited massively from our software which i'm going to show you a quick demo of it at the end of this video smart school management software usage data all right so 15 schools are currently making use of smart school management system and 1600 plus students are currently making use of smart school management software and close to 200 staff both the admin the teachers and others are currently making use of smart school management system and a whole lot of them are testifying and sharing their testimonials about smart school which in subsequent trainings will be calling up some of these schools to share their to share their testimony or how they feel about intimating 
integrating smart school management software in their system. Artificial intelligence in classroom. All right, as you have seen in our flyers, we'll be learning about um, showing you how to utilize artificial intelligence in classroom. And this training is free of charge and registration is mandatory. Like session has been shared to all of you that are currently watching this and those that didn't participate in this training have to pay a sum of 2000 naira to get the video and this live session class is for school owners proprietors principals school managers teachers and all academic and administrative staff in your school and your presenter as a sandwich you know, so the founder of smart school the host right let me okay we are done with the presentation with the slide and all this so i'm going to go into the software the ai we are going to learn about hold on okay so we're learning about chat chat gpt as you might know chat gpt is an um it generates pre inform is a chat gener generated pre inform trained robot that the filming of um, chat GPT generated pre-trained robot or AI. So this chat GPT helps you to generate content, helps you to do a whole lot of things in any industry. So both in the education industry, both in the in, um, business industry, anything you want to do with chat GPT, you can do it. All right, in order to access the website, this is the link. This is the link. Let me copy it and show it to you on this. As you can see, https dot um chat dot open ai dot com. So if you just type this on your browser, it will show you this. So let me just remove this. So that's, it will direct me to the login page. All right, I'm making use of my desktop or my laptop to do this. So in order for you not to stress yourself too much and uh, in order not for you to encounter any challenges while registering or signing up, I recommend logging in to your, if you're making use of your computer, you log in with your Gmail account. As you can see, this is my Gmail account. So I'm currently logged in on my Gmail account before I opened ChatGPT. So if you want to log in, click on login. Wait for it to come up. Wait for it to come up. And Currently now, as of the time of doing this video, is currently free of charge and they are proposing to make it to be premium, but there will be also be the free plan and also there will be um, the premium plan. So anytime you're watching this video, just have it in mind that as of the time of recording this video, as of the time of this training, is currently free of charge. You can just make it of it. It's an open AI. So it's an open source software. So I don't know why it's logging. Okay, it's picking up. On identify. In case you've encountered it, just click on back and click on login again. Then once it shows up this, if you sign up as of the time of doing this video, if you sign up, it's going to take a whole lot of time before you receive an email. So I recommend just click with continue with Google, provided that you have already logged in with your gmail or if you're making use of your phone i believe gmail is on your phone so you click on continue with google if you have a microsoft account you can click on continue with microsoft so it opens up to this so then this is the current email i'm currently logged in on logged on on this slide on this tab so i click on this wait for it um authenticate your login and log you into your account yeah. 
okay we are logged in already oh something went wrong you may have press the back button refresh doing login open to many days okay let's just um go back and start from beginning showing this started showing this recently okay let me use the dark mode click on login Post me up to this slide, then you click on continue with Google. Then click on the email you want to log in with. Okay, we are logged in already. So if you are logging in, okay, to show you this, if you are making use of the desktop version, let's click on okay. You can read the limitations. Okay, these are examples of things you can do. The capabilities, the limitations, it's very essential to read the limitation. You may occasionally generate incorrect information, you, have, you should have that in your mind. Then may occasionally produce harmful instruction or uh, biased content, limited knowledge of world and events after um, 2021. All right, so you can see on this slide some of the chat that I have had before. So this is where we stop for this presentation for now. So we continue in the next presentation. So I have took you on how to log into the software and how you can navigate your way into